There are many types of clouds. In fact, we can group these into 10 main types, depending on where they sit in the atmosphere, whether they're in the lower part of the atmosphere, the middle, or the higher parts. When we look at cloud, we notice two different looks, whether they're clumpy cloud looking like a smoke plume, or whether they're a layer cloud more like a blanket. This layer cloud we call stratiform cloud. In the lower layer, it's called stratus. It tends to give us light drizzle. When we talk about the stratus cloud in the middle layer, we add the word alto to it, meaning high. So it becomes alto stratus. It tends to be a really good rain producing system for large areas across our country, particularly inland. This alto stratus can undergo further vertical development. This can hold more moisture within the cloud, appear darker, the cloud base lowers, and produce heavier rainfall. This is what we call nimbo stratus. And for the very high cloud that's really white and wispy, it's made of ice crystals, we call this cirrus stratus. And we also get a lot of halo activity where the ice crystals are refracting light around the moon and the sun. The clumpy clouds, when in the lower part of the atmosphere, we call this cumulus cloud. Stratocumulus is a blend between stratiform and cumuliform cloud and takes on appearances from both these cloud types. But as that cumulus cloud gets higher in the atmosphere, it gets even smaller. For the middle level cloud, we call it altocumulus. Looks more like sheep in the sky. When we get really high, you can imagine those objects are even further away, so they look even smaller. And this is what we call cirrocumulus. Cumulus cloud or clumpy cloud tends to give you short duration, fairly intense rainfall. The type of rainfall that might be falling at your house, but not at your neighbor's house, you know, a kilometer up the road. And the largest cloud of all is the cumulate nimbus. This actually forms in the lower layer of the atmosphere, but extends through all three layers right to the top of the atmosphere. This is what we call thunderstorm cloud, and it produces thunder and lightning. And some of the more visually spectacular cloud is what happens very high up in the atmosphere. This type of cirrus cloud, it occurs at temperatures around about minus 40 to minus 60 degrees. It's all ice crystals moving very quickly through the atmosphere, leaving some very pretty patterns. By being a keen observer of clouds in our skies and knowing these types of classifications, we can get a real sense of what's happening in the atmosphere. And this tells us what changes in the weather are possibly on its way.